Seventh grade science crew. Hey Falcons, happy Tuesday. Um, in case you missed today's lesson or you just want a quick overview, we are going to go over just a few things. Um, today we had a text Tuesday. So let me share my screen with you real quick. Okay, so today is Tuesday, September 12th, and you guys are going to do a Text Tuesday assignment. Today, we are going to talk about weather and climate. Um, and at the end of the day, you guys should be able to tell the difference between weather and climate. So for your do now today, um, you're going to tell some of the effects of climate change since that's what you learned about during yesterday's lesson. And then you're going to work on your text Tuesday. So I want to show you some of our features. So if we come over here, you guys have a short reading on climate change impacts. You're going to have some fill in the blank questions, but you're going to get a nice drop down box. So just, you know, whatever you think the answer is, I just clicked one. Um, you're going to go with that. This is going to give you some background knowledge. You might have to look some of the words up. But that's a good habit to get in because as you read more complex text, you're going to see words that you don't know. So, you know, part of the 21st century, you can Google whatever you need. Now, the next part, you guys are going to watch a video on weather and climate so that you can discuss it with your classmates. So just in summary, weather is the physical conditions of the atmosphere at a specific place at a specific time, and they can change daily or even more than that. They can change hourly, minute to minute. Um, this includes factors such as temperature, humidity, cloud cover, precipitation, wind. And then climate, um, the Earth has a variety of climates which are defined by average temperature, precipitation, humidity, air pressure, and wind over time in a particular place. Climate typically changes slowly over time and is more predictable. So for example, we might say, oh, the weather today, it's so sunny out. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Those are short-term conditions. Climate, on the other hand, we might make a general statement like North Carolina has mild winters. Or we could say it rains a lot in Washington state. Now, one of the new features, and you guys have seen it before, but you have fill in the blank questions. So you're going to go through and you're going to fill in the blank to make the sentences make sense. So whatever you think it is, you just you can drag and drop it or you can click down and it'll give you the two options and you just click one. Um, you have a few matching for the types of precipitation. Again, it's a drop down box. You click what you think is the best answer to make or, you know, that matches. 
you have some true false. You're going to have some categorization where you're going to have to determine the difference between weather and climate. Be sure to watch the video because it'll give you a better understanding. Um, your typical multiple choice, you're going to learn um, about the layers of the atmosphere. And then this question is kind of cool. It's a little bit different, but it wants you to mark the region of the atmosphere where weather occurs. Again, I'm just like picking one. So see how you have this cursor here? Whenever you click on it, it's going to leave a dot. So, oh, say I don't want it there. I can click here. And so you want to mark which layer of the atmosphere weather's going to occur in based on the text that you read. And then whenever you're done, make sure you are hitting submit. Once you're done with your text Tuesday, you should be able to tell us the difference between weather and climate. Now, when you're done, make sure you also do your exit ticket so that you can show your teacher that you understand the difference between weather and climate. And both of us know if you need to go back and study some more or if we need to have further discussion. Remember, you can um, contact your teacher in several different ways. So I think I speak for the whole seventh grade team. Whenever we say, when I say you can message us in Canvas, you can text us with our Google voice number, or you can send us an email. Now, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you're ready to learn about weather and climate for today's assignment. I have a question for you. What goes up when the rain comes down? I don't know, what? An umbrella. My grandma always said that if it's raining and the sun's out, that means it's gonna rain again the same time tomorrow.